everyone today we will be talking about a very common topic on pregnancy that is the edd or it stands for expected date of delivery edd every lady who is pregnant they should know what is their edd and everyone should know how the edd is calculated this edd uh, if you want to calculate, we must know what is the gestation and the gestational period. Gestational period is the pregnancy period for an animal and for the human being, this gestational period which is calculate, calculated from the LMP or the last menstrual period, first day of the last menstrual period, it is 280 days from the last menstrual period to the EDD is 280 days, that is the gestational age. And uh, it is also calculated by adding 260 days to the artificial reproduction technique when it is used, artificial reprodu reproduction technique, then 266 days is used, it's because 266 days plus 14 days, uh, after 14 days only the fertilization occurs from the LMP. That's why 266 plus 14 days is 280 days for the artificial conception and the artificial reproduction technique. And also if the couple is very much sure about the their date of intercourse only, a very specific intercourse, then only also that day can be taken. But in our practice, what we calculate is that we add 280 days to the first date of the last menstrual period. And that also counts for the 40 weeks because one week is 7 days so 40 into 7 is 280 days and also if we will convert it into the lunar month one lunar month is 28 days lunar month means in a month uh, the moon uh, rotates around the earth that is lunar month and 28 days 28 into 10 is 280 days and if we will convert to the uh, English calendar month then it is calculated by using the Neglis formula that is the German uh, obstetrician, one German obstetrician who was born in 1778 and gave his uh, publication in 1830, the what is uh, very popularly known as Neglis formula or Neglis rule. By adding 9 months and 7 days to the last menstrual period or by deducting three months, first add one year to the uh, last menstrual period, then deduct three months and add seven days. That is that was his formula. But uh, what we popularly use is we add seven days and nine months to the last menstrual period. So that is about the calculation of the uh, EDD. Many a times, uh, sometimes rather, um, the LMP is. Uh, uh, not known or rather uh, we cannot deduce the LMP from the uh, pregnant lady because they uh, forget it or confuse due to the early pregnancy bleeding. In that case, we also do the ultrasonography. In first trimester ultrasonography, we measure the crown rump length, the length of the baby, early baby, early fetus. From that, the machine, ultrasound machine gives a calculation for the EDD. And in late trimester or the late pregnancy also, the machine gives a composite calculation using the biparietal diameter, head circumference, abdominal circumference and female length. These four uh, data are calculated inside the machine and it gives a tentative date for the EDD, not the exact date. Every time you will do the ultrasound in late pregnancy, the date will vary. That's why always you use the LMP is the standard EDD calculator, not the ultrasound because every time you will do the ultrasound, a new date will come. That's why for all pregnant women, the LMP and the EDD calculation is always by adding 9 months and 7 days. What is its significance? The delivery is expected around that date, not on that day because on that day only 4% ladies, the pregnant lady used to deliver. But most of the delivery used to occur uh, at two weeks prior and two weeks after. So at around uh, the 10 to 14 days time of the EDD, 70 to 80% delivery occurs. 
So why the significance? The significance is that we should prepare during the time because we got a uh, time mark that this is our delivery time so that the couple and the people will be ready for that day. And second, if the date will be overdue, they will report to the consultant because after the date is uh, over, the placenta gets matured and the nutrition supply to the uh, fetus will be decreased, the water level will do decrease, so there will be problem to the inside fetus. So that is the significance. The whole the pregnancy is also divided into three trimester, the first trimester, second trimester and the third trimester. The first trimester is from the LMP up to 12 weeks, second trimester is 13 weeks to the 27 weeks and the third trimester is 28 weeks to 40 weeks. This is how the trimester is divided. The first trimester is for the development of the baby, the, all the organs are formed, different organs, nervous system, GI system, all the systems are formed at that point of the time. In the second trimester, all the systems are completely formed and matured. And in the third trimester, they grow up to a level of survivability. So that is the significance of the trimester. And something called the term, first term, pre-term. The term or the full term is from the 39, 40 and 41 weeks. That is called the full term. Less than 37 weeks is called the pre-term. More than 42 weeks is called the post-term pregnancy, uh, post-term pregnancy. Early uh, term is 37, 38 and 39 weeks and late term is the 41 and 42 weeks. So the significance is that less than 37 weeks, there is chance of premature to, to the baby. That's why we must be very careful. And after 42 weeks also, it's because the baby is over matured and there is chance of reduced liquor and there is more chance of complication used to occur after 42 weeks. That's why it has been designed and the terms are significance of that. Now that is about the EDD calculation for all of you. So LMP, the first day of the last menstrual period plus seven days and nine months is the calculation for the EDD. All of your doctors, they used to write LMP, your first day of the last menstrual period and in your ANC card, it must be a, there is an word EDD, that is your expected date of delivery. You find out that date, you ask your doctor, what is my EDD? And once the date is given, that is fixed, that is not going to change. That is around that date, the delivery will occur. But many people used to think that ultrasound date is the EDD and every time they used to get confused. So the message is that EDD is expected date of delivery. Around that time, the delivery can occur and we must be alert for that. And it is calculated by adding 280 days or nine months, seven days to the first day of the LMP. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.